butter yapping, getting past like excrement. Dashing for the president. Dead ones better than dashing for the president. Rapping for the heck of it. So in this hand, you got Mama Stardew Valley. In this hand, you got Papa Animal Crossing. So they get together one night. And out pops this little beautiful, beautiful baby that carries traits from mama and daddy. And you just made this perfect little creature called Dinkum. That's what the video's about today. I'm Fro Fro. Welcome to the channel. Got a little gameplay for you guys. Sit back, relax. Let's go ahead and dive right in. Let's go. So welcome everyone. Welcome to Fupa Island. This is Fro Fro's house right here, baby. These are just some of the fish I've caught. I don't mean to brag, but you know, I got that aquarium at the end of the bed. My guy got his long shirt on. It says a dress, but we ain't gonna call it a dress. It's like one of them long, like, hipster tees. Uh, yeah, so as you can tell, the character models kind of favor Wii models than Wii character models. But, um, yeah, it's just, it looks a lot better on PC, it just does. Which Animal Crossing does not look bad, and Stardew Valley is like an 8-bit or something like that. So, yeah, graphically, Stardew Valley, the gameplay's there. This is just on PC, so it's, it's a little bit better, I'm just biased. But this is my house. As of right now, you cannot do... You cannot change the wallpapers on the wall and the floor, as as I know. I'm like I said, I'm only 16 hours into the game, so I don't feel you can do that yet because I hadn't seen it. But if you can, please drop it in the comments below. Here's your storage options: you just create little crates and you build them. You got to build everything and you just save your your items. But yeah, let's let me go out and just show you all the town, show y'all what's about. Ah. Beautiful Fupa Island. As you can see, you got a museum. Each place has its own little thing. You know, the museums are kind of like Animal Crossing. You got your fish, your butterflies. Uh, Theodore, this is my homie Theodore. He's he's kind of weird, so don't judge him. As you can tell, they sound like Sims. But you can do donations to them, so like Animal Crossing, or you can chat with them and get to know them. As you can see, I almost got a full heart from him because I'm trying so hard to earn his trust so we can hang out. But when you hit want to chat or something like that, you uh, get jobs and what? It's one of the first ones you get on your island. Actually, John right here is. It's your local guy, John. It's where you come in and you buy your items. This is a random homie that shows up. This is my visitor's tent. Uh, this is Franklin. He's a little bit of a dick, but when you get him outside of work, he's actually pretty cool. So, just like normal, when you're in work, you're a dick, and when you're outside of the work, you're pretty, you're pretty cool. But this is the first homie of the island right here. This is Fletch. This is who you start the game with. She's, she's basically she's moved from this island, this town, wanted to start a new island. This is your grandma, but this is also where your crafting table is. So. This is where you craft all your items. Right now, I do not have every item, so do not pay attention to this, but you can craft your normal. Copper street lamps, to scarecrows, to gates. I mean, you can just, you can fix your island really to how you want. You got spears, and you're probably thinking to yourself, you got a spear, bro? So, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna track those, because I need a spear. Uh, your town goes in debt, because you, what you gotta do is, you have to buy license yep. capitalism right you have to buy license to do everything like deep mining license yes you can go mining you just dig deep some of these i got maxed out uh handling license buying raised vombats i need to do that uh tool belt license Ooh, we'll go ahead and do that because i do need that this is my little town as of right now oh this is my chicken this is seth rogan I just, I just got him. I love Seth Rogen. He lays me eggs. I gotta feed my boy. Come on, homie. So I, I feed him. So now I want to go on and show you the farming section. Yes, you can farm on this game also. As of right now, I've got pumpkins growing and I've got corn. I got a scarecrow, so hopefully I can keep some of these birds out. I didn't need to water him, but you have to water them every day for them to grow. As you see, my license little tab just went up. I gotta get water. Run over here and get some water. All the terrain can be adjusted. 
you can dig, make it flat. That's what I love about this game. The customization is just like endless in it. You can make it literally your own. Now, luckily, I was blessed to be able to have this flat land where I'm gonna put all my crops. Crops are seasonal. Right now, we are in the autumn month. You start off in the summer month. So, only crops that grow in each month can... Sorry, I'm trying to see. These pumpkins are thick. But you have to tow and all that. So, this is where the Stardew Valley aspect really comes in. Because you have to pick them. Your crops can die. As you see, all these birds are hanging around. These, this corn needing a little bit. Looking a little rough. I forget you got to water this two times daily. See up in the left hand corner. So right up there. You can actually see you have a stamina bar and a health bar. The stamina depletes as you do activities. And I got an egg. So I should be good. Sake of the video. I'm going to show you what you would have to do in order to get 10. As you can see, there's dogs, wolves, kangaroos, wombats. You can fish. You don't have to worry about the dogs. Dogs are cool unless you fuck with them. When you hit one, you got to deal with all of them. So, as we're running through here, hopefully we can find something. Uh, that's standard shards. There we go, I see one. This is 10 ore right here. And you just hold down the mouse button and bam! You get three per rock. And as far as the map, look how big this freaking map is. You can go everywhere. These little islands out here, you can swim to them. Or get you a boat. I wouldn't swim, I get you a boat. Um, I'm on the ocean. I like an ocean town. But as you can see, the map's so much bigger than Animal Crossing. This game altogether is better than Animal Crossing. I've played Animal Crossing. My wife's played Animal Crossing. And we both agree this game is ten times better. Stardew Valley, I've started. Uh, I've heard it's a very excellent game. But it's not something, not something I want to try, you know. So we get the tin ore, and you just insert it into the furnace, and it'll spit out a little tin brick, and then we will be able to go craft us a spear, and we can go spear fishing. We can attack the animals. We can have more security with our weapon. Uh, I want to show you all the fishing real quick. The fishing is quite fun. That's, that's one thing I don't like. They fight you. Like, it, 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 it's fishing. So, we're going to catch him. They bind today, boy. See? You ain't got to let go. Reel him in. Starts fighting. Let go. You see, it's just more... It's just more advanced than Animal Crossing. Which is not Animal Crossing's fault, because it's a very good game. What we catch? A jungle perch. I don't know what the fuck that is, but we're going to keep it. You got crocodiles and alligators and jellyfish, so you got to really be aware of your surroundings because they can kill you. Now we can go craft us a spear. So see, as you can tell, there's a lot of things that carry over from your natural survival games, and there's a ton that carries over from Animal Crossing. Look at everything kind of like Dinkum is Apple and Animal Crossing Samsung. Animal Crossing came out with it first. Dinkum took everything that was with Animal Crossing good, and they made it ten times better. That's the way I look at it. Dinkum is just one of those games where, hey... It's gonna blow up and the funny thing is it's an early access. That's what's crazy So you do Basically, you're trying to make these people permanent residents and the only way you make them permanent residents is you got to hey Showing some love Seth Rogen is you have to do favors for them buy stuff from them make them feel at home And eventually they'll move here and that's what I'm hoping uh, we will expand the city We are gonna expand out that's the whole plan, but as of right now, we are just a tiny little city. You can see also it does a Stranger Things sky at night, and you feel like you're in the upside down, and yeah. So let's go show y'all the hunting aspects of this game. Hey there, Gabe. Hi, Gabe. Let's go. Alligator meat. It does help you. That's what I love about it. That combat area. Bam! That's 
think I'll do it. Give me that meat. Give me that crocodile tooth. So you got crocodile tooth, crocodile meat. All eggs rose up. They just raise your stamina. So we got the flake. Let's see if it's any good. Okay, so that helped. One more should do the whole good. There we go. Come here, you damn kangaroo! Come here, kangaroo! Yeet! That's what I'm talking about. That's how it's done right there. Gotta get my meat for the day. Where that croc at? Come on, croc. Look at that boy. No! Oh, he just fucked me up! No! Oh man. So I hope you enjoyed the gameplay footage. I just wanted to show it off a little bit because Dinkum is a really, really good game. $17.99 in the Steam store. I don't think it's anywhere else but Steam, but it is an early access. Keep that in mind. But to be early access, it's very, very polished. We'll drop the link below. And if you're enjoying my content, please do not hesitate to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon, swing down in the comments, tell your boy hi, mean a lot to me. All that out of the way, shove it, get rid of it. Until next time, fro fro.